Here's your mineral dump. Mm, hi, guys. It is a fine spring evening here in the collapse of everything. At Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, the snake-infested Bugs in a Jar Farm on this beautiful Monday night. It is May 6, 2024. And so uh, I was thinking uh, that... <coughs> Being a Monday, I was just assuming there would not be a Good News Monday Roundup Ramp. But I have been saved by Newsweek Magazine. By Newsweek Magazine, and if this collapsing battery survives, maybe, I think the name of the news service is Inside Fairyland. The IFL news service. And, uh, but Newsweek magazine, like they do occasionally on Monday, they send me their, their Better Planet Roundup. Better Planet. Uh, uh which is described as innovators and communities all pushing to sustain <laughs> to sustain to sustain to sustain <coughs> hope for a healthier earth and we are going to go to Shelby Kentucky for a uh, news of a better planet we're going to those to those moonshiners in uh shelby kentucky people don't maybe you guys don't realize bugs in a jar farm used to be the local uh moonshine still uh for <laughs> for years here in uh candor new york still have a bunch of these old whiskey bottles from the old moonshine still so this is how moonshiners or whiskey makers are saving the planet yes for this weekend's 150th running of the kentucky derby better planet took a close look at the carbon footprint of another venerable kentucky tradition bourbon distilling spirits takes a lot of energy and producing an average bottle of whiskey can result in six pounds of CO2 emissions. So this is about 20 pounds of CO2 emissions in that bottle. Several distilleries are working to cut their climate pollution, including Kentucky's Bullet Bourbon. One of its facilities is already carbon neutral, and another plans to replace its gas-burning boiler with an innovative clean technology called a heat battery. Heat batteries <coughs> convert renewable electricity into industrial heat, and the project at Bullets Shelbyville, Kentucky Distillery will demonstrate how other energy-intensive businesses might decarbonize all while putting us closer to a climate-friendly cocktail. Well, I'm going to stick with my uh, climate-threatened cocktail, the, the margarita. So that was Better Planets one story. And so then for the other stories, uh from innovators and communities all pushing to sustain <laughs> for a healthier earth, we have this story, which is really uh, some great news. A new study shows that climate change is making hurricanes intensify as they approach landfall, potentially making them even more destructive. The research by the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory found that hurricanes worldwide have been becoming more severe 
at a quickening pace over the last 45 years. Researchers said the increase in strength often occurs just before storms reach land. Quote, we're talking about it happening right at the coastline where it matters most, said lead author Catherick Balgouri. The Atlantic hurricane season begins June 1st and forecasts are calling for a very active season as sea temperatures are abnormally high in many parts of the Atlantic. So there you go. So that's that uh, good news story. In climate news elsewhere, congressional Democrats last Tuesday unveiled documents from major oil producers showing that the company's private communications were frequently at odds with their public statements about their climate goals. The Washington Post reported that Democrats on the House Oversight Committee and the Senate Budget Committee conducted a years-long investigation that the lawmakers say shows how the oil industry misled the public about its role in causing climate change. Industry officials deny that, but they will face similar allegations in court as several lawsuits seek to hold oil producers responsible for climate damages. Well, that's certainly some good news. Uh, let's see. What else? What other good news from Better Planet? The AP reported that Florida lawmakers are about to remove climate change considerations from state law regarding energy decisions. Uh, I thought that that had happened years ago. So, uh, you, you know, the hurricane capital uh, of, the, uh, of the country... Uh, not considering climate change in, uh, yes. Okay, what else do we have from Better Planet? Uh, as this battery is collapsing, Alaska Lakes warning over rare hazards surprising ice. This is a story about lake tsunamis. Lake tsunamis usually happen only in remote areas, but climate change is making them more common and more dangerous. That's uh, certainly some good news. Here is some yesterday's news, which we've already covered and ain't going to happen. Plastic is polluting our oceans. Will we get a treaty to cut plastic waste? And apparently this article was written before those failed talks uh, officially fell on their face. And obviously uh, there was no treaty uh, to cut plastic waste. Ain't going to happen. Well, that's certainly a good news story. And we have one more good news story from Better Planet. American cities face mass termite invasion, scientists warn, quote, our findings reveal that numerous invasive termite species could find suitable habitats in heavily urbanized and connected areas, close quote, the researchers wrote. Well, that certainly sounds like a fine roundup of innovators and communities all pushing to sustain <laughs> sustain <laughs> for a healthier earth. So, but before I go, I want to thank uh, my buddy Kevin for sending uh, this story from IFL Science. IFL which stands for Inside Fairyland. Inside Fairyland News Service. <clears throat> Rejoice! Biodiversity loss really can be halted 
and reversed by conservation efforts. Fantastic news has dropped as a first of its kind review has concluded that conservation action does have a meaningful impact on biodiversity loss. The global meta-analysis uncovered how, in two-thirds of cases anyway, conservation efforts either improved the state of biodiversity or at least slowed the decline of biodiversity. This is the strongest evidence to date that nature conservation is worth the investment. It also points a prom to a promising picture for the future, as by scaling up conservation interventions, it shows we can halt and reverse biodiversity loss, returning our planet to a healthier balance that will in turn reduce the effects of climate change. Yes. Uh, anyway, guys, I've, I've, uh, I've, I, I've, 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 you know, what, what this is, is at like a, a, I, I just want to go uh, jump down to the bottom before my battery collapses on this broken com computer. Uh, some of the most influential actions include establishing protected areas. We've heard all about protected areas from mongabay.com. Eradicating invasive species it does not say if that eradication includes humans, the single most invasive species in the history of the planet. Finding sustainable ways to manage ecosystems, reducing habitat loss, and restoring those that have been destroyed. The authors describe them as being highly effective with large effect sizes but stressed that conservation actions, quote, require transformational scaling up to meet global targets, you know, referring to the fact that 100%, 100% of the United Nations global biodiversity protection targets have failed. 100% failure rate. Quote, it would be too easy to lose any sense of optimism in the face of ongoing biodiversity decline, said study co-author and associate professor Joseph Bullshit. Joseph Bullshit from the University of Oxford's Department of Biology. Quote, however, our results clearly show that there is Room for heaven. There is room for heaven. Room for heaven. Room for heaven. There is room for heaven. Conservation interventions seemed to be an improvement on inaction most of the time, and when they were not, the losses were comparatively limited. So that is now the definition of good news. Uh, good news means seems to be an improvement on or over inaction most of the time and when they are not an improvement the losses were compared to, you know, where the, the animals uh, are a little bit less fucked uh, than they would be if we did nothing at all.
a little bit less fun. So so it, anyway, guys, uh, and, and there goes my battery. That that's how long my battery lasts on this computer. I you know I, I have three laptop computers. I'm trying to amalgamate into one working laptop. So it, 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 anyway, guys, I uh, just have to comment on, on on this no shit Sherlock story. Uh, it, it, it is quite easy. And and, and 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 don't get me wrong, I, I am a a in full support of, of all of these biodiversity uh, loss conservation efforts. You, you know, setting aside protected areas, uh, rewilding. Uh, all, all of that stuff. Of course, you never see the word overpopulation anywhere in this story. Uh, taking humans out of the equation, never mentioned as a conservation strategy to uh, halt or reverse biodiversity loss, getting the fucking humans gone uh, out of the scene. Uh, but, 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 but yeah, no shit Sherlock. Uh, I, I, I mean, and, and good for these conservationists. I, I am 100% in, in support of all of this shit, but, but what none of these little hopium peddlers, uh, are, are ever going to fucking talk about is the, the Bill Gady, G-A-E-D-E. -E. I have had the pleasure of interviewing Bill Gady at, at least twice uh, 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 he's some uh, crazy physicist. I really like this guy. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, talking about this kind of stuff is fine and dandy when you have some semblance of quote normalcy, some tiny little little stranglehold on a, on like the rule of law and uh, cracking down on on uh, on poachers or or whatever but uh, of course what none of these clueless morons are ever going to mention these these collapse deniers that I that I have been uh, talking about, as Book Hermit uh, said, a better description is collapse solution uh, deniers, uh, meaning the, the one solution of, of course, keeping your fucking pecker in your pants and not letting your knickers down. You know, it, 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 as long as the global industrial civilization social compact it, 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 it is still being held together by uh, I, what? What the hell is this whole thing being held together by now? Is it? Are we down to bubble gum and uh, duct tape, or you know? I, I say it's the fear of it falling apart is the only thing holding it together at this point. But 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 as soon as this shit show goes south, I uh, you, you know what do you think? Uh, it is the first thing that's going to go. It's going to be all of these very well-intentioned and uh, with limited success on very small local levels. They're, they're going to go straight down the toilet as, as this entire planet uh, starts looking like, uh, you know, what the hell, Haiti, uh, as uh, Peoria, Illinois, uh, starts looking like Haiti, uh, or, or uh, you know, or good, good Lord, uh, the Gaza Strip. Uh, let, let me tell you uh, where biodiversity loss and conservation initiatives uh, let me tell you where the fuck uh, they rate in, in, in a failed state. It's the first thing to go. 
is 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 any protections uh, for our fellow Earthlings, and of course, all we're doing uh, is stalking the stew pot, as Bill Gady would say. Uh, any success story in, 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 a, in a conservation effort where, you know, some species of, uh, of whatever on, on some remote island or, you know, in some, uh, in, in some country, you know, such as the U.S., uh, where there is still a little bit of rule of law and uh, some some sort of game warden and shit, uh, in, in enforcing these laws and patrolling these bullshit protected areas. Uh, you know, when when people get hungry. All right, let 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 let's cut to the fucking chase here. Uh, when people get hungry. And, and they're wondering where the hell their next meal is coming from. You know, I'm just trying to feed my family. I'm just trying to feed my eight kids. Uh, you know, in the, in the U.S. aid plane, uh, isn't landing, isn't dropping fucking parachutes of food uh, to feed my eight children. Uh, you know, once the little cargo cult uh, fails and this goddamn foreign food aid starts dropping out of the fucking sky uh, from, from rich honkies uh, uh, over here uh, in the U.S. and Europe, uh, and, and, and there's some goddamn conservation success story in, in, in some, in, in, in what, in, in, in some little, uh, uh, <coughs> little reservoir of biodiversity, and, and there's no longer, uh, you know, chicken and rice falling out of a fucking airplane. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to that conservation success story oh, where, where some damn herd of giraffes, uh, it, it looks like it's doing pretty good. They're going in the fucking stew pot. Uh, as uh, Bill Gady, anybody with a goddamn brain, uh, what's going to cause the sixth mass extinction is too goddamn many hungry humans on this planet eating every one of our fellow earthlings. That's exactly where they're going. Uh, so, I, uh, so I'm sure uh, all these soon-to-be starving uh, people really appreciate uh, this inside fantasy land uh, hope for the, the, the future of our fellow earthlings. Our fellow earthlings are fucked. Okay? They're fucked. And, and as Bill Gady uh, says, once we've eaten all of our fellow earthlings, what the hell do you think is the next thing going in the stew pot? Ask Joe Biden about what happened to his uncle. He'll tell you. Joe Biden will tell you. They're going in the fucking stew pot. Just like Joe Biden's uncle. It's exactly where they're going. Anyway, speaking of the stew pot, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I, I think I have a, a fellow earthling pig and a fellow earthling chicken. Uh, in the stew pot 30 feet from here, and it's getting to be my dinner time, so I am going to enjoy eating one of my fellow earthlings while I still can to celebrate Good News Monday at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Bye, guys. This little dog, you say, Pop, I've already eaten my... My fellow earthling. How did you enjoy your fellow earthling today? Look at those beautiful flowers. Ah, man. Springtime is busting out all over at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Come see me. 
Mm, hej guys.